All right, man. So I'm doing this video to really discuss J. Cole and really like, you know, his whole fake woke persona, his old, his fake woke hypocrisy, basically. Surface level consciousness. Um, He's putting on this illusion. Like I've just watched his, um, you know, Angie Martinez interview. And for this nigga to come out and say that Young Thug is a genius. That he respects six nine. That ain't even all of this shit, bro. That two right, them two right there, bro, are immediate red flags, my nigga. Immediate. Because I can't eat through that shit, bro. Like you talking about Kanye, right? But yeah, you you know what I'm saying you saying you respect a convicted pedophile, bro. That's what you saying, bro. You respect a convicted pedophile, my nigga. And then you call a young thug a genius, bro. What has Young Thug done? What has he done, bro? Did straight up disrespecting Lil Wayne, stealing his whole style and you know, trolling him and all that. All this weirdo stuff, clown shit for attention. Exactly what 6ix9ine is doing. So you calling that genius, but what has it really granted him? What has it granted him? To get his whole fucking career sabotaged by a nigga from his own fucking city, Lil Baby. The whole sound, you feel me? You know why people rock with Lil Baby? I understand the hype, but I still don't like the nigga, you feel me? Because I view it as niggas just dick riding Atlanta as they always do. But the reason people are, you know, supporting Lil Baby is because he's what Young Thug was supposed to be. Without all those weirdo antics, without doing all that troll weirdo clown shit. Wearing dresses, you know what I'm saying? Embarrassing his fan base to try to defend him. Lil Baby don't do that. He has the quote-unquote street nigga, you know what I'm saying, image or whatever. You feel me? The, not street nigga, but really, I don't, you know, it is. You know. But, you know, that's that Atlanta shit. So, that's why, they, you know, it's a lot of people that would have been Young Thug fans if it wasn't for all that weirdo shit. And that's how you get the support from the urban part. But then if you just do, you know, transfer over and you automatically doing that weirdo shit, people going to be like, you know, the people that actually put you to the forefront of authenticity. Because what you got to realize is that melanated people dictate or validate your authenticity in hip hop. That's a fact. If not, then you have nothing to hold you back, you know, to hold you forward or protect you. When, you know, the defense comes or just like when um they trying to get you out of Hollywood. It's like, nah, we still got him. Look at Meek, for example. The streets is what held him down after that Drake shit. The streets held him down and it kept him going. So I'm saying that to say for this nigga J. Cole to say that Young Thug is a genius. When I've done videos, DJ Academics deleted his video. Exposing what Young Thug was calling a little baby boy cute or sexy. He was calling a little boy, a little baby, newborn baby, sexy. And the father, you know what I'm saying, had exposed Young Thug for saying that. He was like, what the fuck is he on? Some weirdo shit. It was a real nigga that said it. You feel me? Like, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Wanted to get up with Young Thug about that shit. DJ Academics did a video on it, deleted it. I remember that shit. Shit like that, I don't forget, bro. You know what I'm saying? But everybody else sweep it under the rug. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That weirdo shit. I, I don't fuck with it, man. I don't fuck with it. So to see this nigga J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? Doing all that, you know, respect level shot, my nigga. And see, look, the whole reason that he went at Kanye West on False Prophets, bro. The whole reason he went at him is because he signed to the camel in a three piece suit, Jay Z. He signed to Rock Nation. Jay-Z didn't even want to be bothered with this nigga, bro. Jay-Z was ignoring this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that know J. Cole's story know Jay-Z was ignoring that nigga. Until he finally gave him a shot. So, what he's doing is, you know, being the spokesperson to respond to Kanye when Kanye did that rant. Please don't send your killers at me, Jay-Z. Please don't. You feel me? When he went on his rant. 
because Jay-Z was being an unloyal snake, as always. So, you know, the um, reaction to that was for J. Cole to step up and say something. False prophets, clowning Kanye, doing all this weirdo shit. Nigga, he, he didn't never, I don't remember Kanye ever mentioning you, J. Cole, you feel me? So, just imagine, if we were in an alternate world, <laughs> and Kanye's rant was directed towards Top Dog of Top Dog Entertainment with Kendrick's label, right? And Schoolboy now. And Kanye just saying, Top Dog, you ain't even called me. Like, you know, uh, you know, Kanye was real cool with Top Dog, and Top Dog signed him in 2002 to... Top Dog Records before J-Rock and all that. You feel me? And they just real cool over the decades. You feel me? And all of a sudden, he stopped fucking with Kanye when when Kanye get with some old, you know what I'm saying, some girl that's on a video doing sexual acts. You feel me? And he just out there calling out, calling out Top Dog. Top Dog, I know you got killers in the Nickerson Gardens. Please don't send them in my head. What would be the reaction to that? The reaction to that would be Kendrick Lamar coming out of nowhere with a song called False Prophets. Kendrick Lamar hopping on the L.A. Metro bus, you know what I'm saying, like a regular citizen rapping about Kanye. That would be the reaction. (laughs) I'm goofy, man. That's crazy, though, but you know, that's how it really is. That's how it really is with this J. Cole shit. So I can't respect them for that. Tried to give him props on KOD. But then I thought about it afterwards. Like, he only doing this KOD shit because the mumble rappers are directly attacking him. And now I see why they attacking him. He come up, come across as preachy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nigga come across as preachy and a low-key try-hard, honestly. Really, honestly, a fucking try-hard. And he don't have the same passion as he did when he dropped the song Michael. You feel me? It's not there. It's not there. I can't defend this shit, bro. Especially when he going at Kanye, my nigga. Go at a fucking spitter, bro. Quit speaking on Kanye, my nigga. Go at a spitter, bro. Quit speaking on mumble rappers, nigga. Go at a spitter. Fuck is you talking about? These niggas is protected, quote unquote, lyricists. Kendrick Lamar. Man, I ain't even finna do that, bro. But. This whole hip hop shit of just what I'm seeing now, man. The nigga clearly showing a fucking bias. If you going straight up, you know, conform to this dumbed down generation, hell, you knowing that you can't change it. Because you part of the system of dumbing people down. Service level consciousness. You feel me? And knowing that, you know, you're a part of the system that is doing this. Of this generation that you see now. Now I just want to you know mention something else too. I saw Lil Tay. Getting her hair bleached green or blue. Or purple. I can't remember. But I, I knew instantly. Instantly knew. They finna make a you know a rap video of her. They finna make her try to be a rap star. If your mom lose your job. Lose her job. And all that. They doing that because it's a dumbed down society. Basically. That's all they doing it for. So a J. Cole, you're not contributing to the actual, you know, um, to actually change things. You're actually just influencing it by supporting and saying that you respect 6 9 and that Young Thug is a fucking genius. So that's all I really got to say about it, you feel me? Y'all give me y'all thoughts on this shit. I'm not going to mention that hoax, I mean, or that state, uh, 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 I'm not going to mention that in Texas, you feel me? It's clearly propaganda. But let the people, let the dominoes fall where they will, you feel me? Just let they, let them fall where they will. They're shunning all of the, you know, videos of people exposing that. So what would be the reason of me naming a title after that event that just happened where eight quote-unquote people perished? Use your mind. Have to move different in this era of, you know, people labeling, um, or just people labeling conspiracy things and, um, labeling conspiracy facts propaganda. 
That's the era we live in in this just generation of dumbed down individuals who the people actually support this. The regular citizens actually support that conspiracies, conspiracy facts, I don't call them theories because I have evidence to back up why people would even consider it a conspiracy. Do we want to go down the line of Jekyll Island? COINTELPRO, they're clearly against the people. So when I hear people say conspiracy theorists in defense of, you know, this government, it's ridiculous to me. Ridiculous. And I can't, you know what I'm saying, sit up there and engage in conversation with people that actually believe those things. They're scared individuals. Scared individuals. So, yeah. Was going to talk about a lot more. I really just, um... You know, just wanted to put this video out here because I'm sick of this J. Cole shit, bro. I'm sick of this nigga now, man. I'm sick of him, bro. The hypocrisy of this nigga, man. You know, like I always said, bro. For Kanye to, you know, be a, a everybody type of person. Like, you know, want everybody, every race to love everybody. That makes sense. He isn't coming off as Afrocentric in his fucking videos no more, bro. Since he got with Kim K, ain't no Afrocentric behavior. Which rightfully so. If you're with a white woman, then that's how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to love everybody. So, to see a childish Gambino. To be, you know, having all of these Afrocentric dances or African dances and all of this. Straight captivating y'all and all of that. Well, then he has a white woman and has two babies by her. And you've never seen him with a black woman at all. And yeah, that raises some eyebrows. You feel me? That raises some real eyebrows. It should. But you know, J. Cole, you know, he supports that too. So, you know, all that fake woke shit this nigga got oozing out of his brain right now, bro. Take that bullshit somewhere else, my nigga. I'm not going for it, bro. You fucking puppet for Jay-Z, my nigga, and Beyonce. You protecting the Carters, my nigga. You they gatekeeper. Fuck is you talking about? I don't respect it. At least Kanye stand up for his family, bro. He's a part of that family. Y'all call him Kanye Kardashian. What else would he have went to? What black woman would he have aligned himself with? To create a quote unquote black empire. Name one. Black actress or something. Name one around his age group bro. That would actually fit. For his you know. Cultivative and creative mind. Who would actually you know. A black woman. I ain't even finna get in all. Y'all don't even get it. He constantly has the attention on it. Because of Hollywood loves. This agenda. It's deeper. I, I believe it's deeper. Because. As I told y'all before, the Jewish individuals that run this system, they have purposely destroyed the white family structure. All of the people that believe that white and Jewish are the same fucking thing, why the hell would they destroy white structure, the white structure of the family? Why the hell would they promote interracial couples on commercials? Why would they advertise that? Why would they put out videos if 50 years back? Y'all don't even understand how society has gotten to where it is now. The granddads of the 60s and 50s. Of now that are granddads and, you know, great granddads and shit like that. Were the um, individuals or young Caucasian males that were tw in their 20s and 30s in the 50s and 60s. Those individuals did not want anything to do with black women or black men. They didn't want their families to do anything. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want them around. So why did that mentality change? I don't want to get too deep on here. I've, I've said this before. I've said this multiple times. Not understanding that. You see white men running all the way to the Philippines now. You got them running all the way to Thailand, to you know um, Vietnam, to find wives. Submissive wives that believe in actual you know, white supremacy, just like all y'all blacks do down here. That believe in white supremacy, bro. That the white man is holding you down. That the white man. Y'all don't even understand the distinction between white and Jewish. Judaism is a is a religion. Get your dumb ass song, nigga. They don't allow any fucking goyim in they shit, bro. They don't allow no Gentiles. Clearly, there's a distinction. Clearly. 
bloodlines, believing that anybody read stories of the actual bloodlines of these of these individuals and you know how important it is to them. Why do you think these royal families or just like Obama is related to princes and kings in England? You feel me? Why is he related to George Cheney? I mean, God damn it. Dick Cheney and George Bush. Why are those his cousins? Why is he related to two other presidents before him? What is it? Um, is he related to what? James Madison and Monroe? So, you know, I'm not trying to get too deep on here. I can't. But I'd rather not conversate with you sheep. A lot of the people that follow, you know, channels like Breakfast Club and places like that, they don't really know what the hell is going on. They really don't. You can look at your fucking society now. White people are dropping dead on opioids, bro, at massive rates. They got low um fertility rates right now, bro. Low as fuck. Actually, the whole America does, actually. Low fertility rates, you feel me? And it's really high in, you know, um, Caucasians. And suicide rates in Caucasians are high as well. So what the hell do you think all that's about? Why the fuck do you think you allowed to put out shows called Dear White People? With black cast. Why the fuck do you think that's out there? People don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I, I get tired of dealing with motherfuckers so... In my spare time, if I do make a fucking cinematic music video, that's my expression. That's how I actually feel about certain things, you feel me? That's just my way of escapism, basically. So I don't want to hear no negative comments on none of my videos, on the music videos I do. I don't want to hear it. I swear I don't. Because <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't really researching. You motherfuckers. I get on here, bro. I see why motherfuckers don't, you know what I'm saying, hit me up about certain things. I got a platform in which individuals can come on here and debate me, but guess what? They know it ain't worth it. It ain't worth getting ether. It ain't worth actually dealing with reality. Keep playing a bland game on a lot of shit on here. When it comes to this black man, black woman shit, white man versus black man shit. You don't even understand this shit, bro. You don't even understand this reality. As I continue to digress into primitive mindsets, I can continue to elevate. I don't want to deal with y'all. Stop really responding to comments in my comment section, honestly. Really, really do. You know. So, just give me y'all thoughts on this, man. This video was not supposed to be this long. That being said, I'm gone. Peace.